You follow the hallway and it leads to a door. Um, the cracked door frame leaves the, the door swinging on a creaky hinge and the room, from what you can gather, was probably once a training ground. The weapon racks and sand on the floor indicate this much, however, the ceiling of the forge here has collapsed inward. You surmise that this particular room is next to the incline of the mountains, as the roof has, a, um, has allowed dirt along with trees and brush, brush to grow inside. Given the nature of the collapsed ceiling and roots, the trees have caused the roots to grow outwards in, in large, gnarled, tight knots. The door on the other side, where you need to go, is barred by two trees who have grown defiantly from between stonework. And the recent rain has caused this area to be slick with mud. Is this where this is not where Frostbrand is. This is not where Frostbrand is, this just, is on the way. Yeah, this is on the way. Okay. Alright, uh I guess we keep looking around, dude. Is there any doors? Did you mention any doors? Is yes, there are that? doors, but the two trees there is a, there is a door, but the two trees are blocking it. So uh, there's can a can any of your magic work with those branches or roots to move them out of the way? Um, I don't know if I can. This. Yeah, I don't really have magic to really move plants. I can make more plants. I don't think we need more plants, though. I can figure out some way to move these trees. I mean... Maybe you had some sort of axe, or maybe you find a way to drop down the trees. I just have a stick. <laughs> I mean, if we all work together, maybe we can push it out of the way. I mean, yeah, like a little bit at a time. I mean, we do have rope. We can tie rope around the tree and try to pull it down. How? Like, what does the tree look like? Is it like old? Is it like an actual like? Um, they're trees that are in their adult stages, so they're too, like, pretty, you can, like, wrap your arms around the trunks, uh -huh. but, But um, they're not, like, dead trees. They're not dead trees, yet. Yeah, they're alive and well. Um, the, the ceiling here has collapsed inward, so it allowed the, like, for, like, basically hundreds of years of, like, dirt and seeds and stuff to come in here. And uh, there's enough sunlight for these trees to basically like grow right in front of the door and kind of like cross over it. I mean, I don't really have an axe, but I do. I reach into my bag and I pull out my like wood carver tools. Ooh, okay. Okay. I mean, this is, is the door open best I have. Open? Towards you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say you go and you check and. Shh, shh. Um. So I mean, I. So there's no other way like around like these trees. There's not like a hole or anything, but they're you just. Make a perception check. Okay. Can I also make a perception check? Yes, you can make perception checks. I will perceive. Okay, that's fine. Can I cast a spell magic on it? Not a spell. Did, did I magic? did not perceive. I did not perceive. I sent it. I did not perceive. Um, what do you want to do, Luna? Uh, detect magic. Okay, cast detect magic. And I. And what'd you get? I got a seventeen. Okay, so you got a seventeen. 
All right. And what did you get, Kayanthi? I rolled a seven in perception. Okay. So you look around these trees um, have grown sort of at, the, at an angle because they came from in between these rocks and then over time pushed them aside and then um, grew upward and outward crisscrossing in front of each other uh, these you surmise you could probably maybe carve with your wood tools, but it would take a long time. Yeah, that's why. And Luna, you cast Dispel Magic. Detect. Detect Magic. Dispel is too high. Um, okay. Let's see. Detect Magic. What does that do exactly? Detect it oh, points it's, out. It's like, you, it's like you lean down on the ground yeah. and you place your hand gently on this pile it, of. Around and you points out, out yes. magic the high, the within 30 feet. You can use your action to see it. Okay, okay. So you use detect magic. You, um, you don't sense anything immediately. These appear to just be normal little trees. But, but you do hear an unholy, unnatural laughter, like tar sticking to your minds. I only hear half of what you're saying. <laughs> okay, so you hear, Luna does hear more laughter. And she does detect magic coming from above. Ah. In a, uh, the above, you see more of the familiar ooze seep through the Nothing. ceiling. Yep, step back. <laughs> and then, um... I, yeah, I step back and I, like, ready some rocks as I cast, um, magic stone. You prepare to meet these slimes in battle, but alas... The ceiling is giving in. What? <laughs> Everyone needs to make dexterity saving throws. Oh uh, no! And Kayathi, with your perception check, you notice there's another door nope. behind some brush. Nope. nope, nope. A brush? Yes. Okay. You notice another okay. door. So we'll say. Are we resistance? What about resistance? Can I use resistance? I mean, that, that's an uh, action yeah. to cast. It's an action. Okay. So I'll say you can cast resistance, but you'll have disadvantage on your saving throw. Okay. Are you talking to the mic again? <laughs> okay. So I'll say you... Yeah, that's good. Here, we'll put this here. Yeah, you could just put it there. So I'll say that you can cast... Resistance, but you'll have a disadvantage on your saving throw. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go this. Ten. Okay. I got a seven. <laughs> Ooh. I'm doing pretty dang Okay, Kayanthi. Uh, I wrote it in the chat. I have a dirty oh. point. Okay, Trina got sixteen. You got a dirty twenty. Okay, um, what did Adlana get? Adlana got a nine. Ooh, ooh, really? She only got a nine? She's so oh, dexy. She three. I'm sorry, she got a plus six. Okay, so oh, those no. who rolled above a ten managed to escape through the door that Kayanthi saw. What? There was a door? Yeah, I perceived it. Come on, pay attention. I thought there was just a tree door. Tree door, you were so preoccupied. And um, so who, who's on, and then those under 10 are still within this room. So I got 10. Which one, which one am I? Um, you made it through. Okay. No, what lava? 
Oh no! So who's on the other? Who's outside and who's inside? Adlan, Adlan was trapped. Everyone else made it out. Yeah, I rolled super low. And Ellie, Adlana and Ellie are trapped. Okay, so <clears throat> the room oh, that you know, guys. Okay, okay Alphonse, what happened to Alphonse? Oh, I didn't roll for Alphonse. Hang on. Alphonse, uh, no. Um, I have. I actually have like a sheet for him. Let me go get that. We'll be right back after these messages. We'll return after this commercial and I will be done. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. This is upside down. Got a luscious wind towel. Yeah, luscious wind towel. We got canaries. Oh, here we go. I'll find him over here. Alright, his dex is actually pretty good. Okay, yeah, he made it through. Oh, God. Alphonse made it through. Alright, so the, those of you who made it through the door, you are back in the room with all the beds, so you're back in the living quarter. Okay. And we'll say that... Uh, Lana and Ellie and yeah, it's just you two. Just me two. Yeah, it's just, just you. Wait. You and Lana. What did, did Ellie? What did Ellie roll? A seven. I, I rolled a. F yeah, I rolled a seven. Oh no! I didn't know Ellie was in there too. Ah. Yeah, so Ellie's in there too. <laughs> so did it block the door? Or did it crush them? Uh, it blocked the door, and um. Ellie, you rolled the lowest, so you take another three points of damage. Ow, stop hurting me! <laughs> no. I thought you loved me! <laughs> you're not gonna get hurt anymore. <laughs> I wasn't listening to you! <laughs> okay, let me Luna's break. words echo through my head. Darn it, I got hurt again! <laughs> you guys turn and face the icky slimes as i see the slime coming i'm eating a good berry you eat a good berry oh, no. okay adlana i think would inform you guys of the situation she would say ellie and i are trapped on the other side of this wall we'll try to get through but the slime things are also here what do you guys want to do Y'all think want to try and like pull the boulder sleep you should go help your friend. Okay. So, um, let's let's roll some initiative. So it's gonna be me and Adlana uh -huh. fighting a bunch of slimes. Uh-huh. Actually, what's the theme what's the music for Adlana Fantasy 7? I don't know. Da 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 that's the ending thing. We're getting into battle. Alright. Roll for your initiative. Oh gosh. Come on. Who's or all of us? Oh. Uh, all of you guys. Roll. All of you roll for initiative. All of, us, all of us initiative. Got it. Fudge brownies. I rolled a six on my initiative. Okay. I got a 13. Luna, you can't just keep giving yourself guidance. You have to share. <laughs> Ellie, what'd you get? I got six. Ellie got a six. Yeah, Lana. Ooh. What did Lana get? To a lot of, ooh, 23, okay. If we have a tie, do we just do rock, paper, scissors to break I it? I think that's whoever has the biggest uh, modifier. What? Yeah. With you. Wizard. Oh, yeah, I have, I have plus five. Yeah. Whoever has the highest dex mod. Shoot. Uh, this camera went off. It's too interruption. All right, Tarina. Also, thirteen. Wow, well, thirteens. Okay. Okay, then I guess between Luna and Tarina, who has the highest in initiative? Um, Adlana has twenty-three. 
So I was between Tarina and Luna. Oh, between Tarina and Luna. Um, also got thirteen. Who has the higher decks? Who has the Who has higher decks? We both have plus three. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'll just roll. All right, Tarina goes first. Okay. And then it's uh, Abuana. Yes. Tarina, uh, Luna, and then whatever slime crap going on. And Ellie, what's Ellie doing? Ellie's uh. Got a six. Got six. Yes. Initiative. Okay. This is going to be Yeah, great. so it's Adlana, <laughs> then the Slimes, then Kayanthi, then Trina, then Luna, then Ellie. Mm. All right. What is Adlana going to do, Trina? Adlana is going to take her rapier and try to slash at it. Okay. Slash away. Oh my gosh, not too funny. Woo! Yay! Go for it. Roll. This guy likes her. Jeez. Oh, wow. Um... Oh, wow. Um, 18 points of slashing damage. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So that's her turn. Next is, uh, there are... Does Ablana want to move or do anything else? Is, is there anything else that she could do to help out besides just hacking at it? Um, so she... She, there, there is the rubble pile. Um, yeah, she can... She can attempt to pull the rubble down. Um, you guys can actually just... I was like, the, you can go back where you came. And, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what's, that's what she sees. She sees three slimes, Ellie, the rubble pile, um, and the rubble pile blocking the exit that you guys took, but there's also the entryway that you guys initially took to get into the room. Yeah. Adlana has a bonus action. Yeah. Um, what can she- but, well, She can bonus action hide. I'd hide. Or she could just okay. attempt moving the rubble. Yeah. I don't know what she would do. Um, I think she'd try to move the rubble. Okay, make strength check. You could do it, Alana. I believe in you. Oh my freaking goodness. Is it the one good? check? How- It's strength- I hope this goodness is good. 18. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so she, uh, you know, like, her mother, her, uh, her mom's senses tingle as one of her own is being threatened, so she, you know, takes out her rapier and plunges it into the, the slime, kicks it aside, and then grabs hold of the rubble and hurls it aside. Okay, next up are the slimes. Uh, they are going to attack Adlana, and oh, that's a 19 to hit Adlana. Okay. Three, five. It's, I don't actually know what her HP is at. Um. Does it not say on the sheet? <laughs> she just sent her, uh, she just sent her weapons. Oh. I've been using a picture of her first level character sheet for the pluses on rolls. Woo! Uh, I mean... Yeah. Okay, um... Oh, wow. I just sent you pictures! Ah! Do you have her HP? I see a 19. 19? 
Yeah, I guess she has 19 HP. She has 19 hit points. Wow. That's okay. Um, so she takes seven, seven points of damage. Oof. And there's another slime. Okay. Uh, it also goes to attack at Lana. No. It hits, uh, does a 16 hit? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. 16 hits. Oh, that's a 12. Oh my god. Wait, really? Yeah, that's 12. She's down. She's down, a lot is down. No. Uh, no. Okay. And the third one goes to attack Ellie. Uh, um, a seven. That misses. <laughs> okay. Uh, so like, while she is trying to hurl this rock aside, like two of them just slam into her, and uh, she is not unconscious. Next up, no. next up is Kayanti. You hear the cries of your of your comrades on the other side. What do you do? Okay, so you want to pull and pry these free? Can I do like a karate chop on these rocks to move them out of the way? Uh, yeah, you can attempt to blast the rocks away. Alright, I'm gonna karate chop these things out of the way. Does that mean my usual martial arts or what? Uh, yeah, you can go for it. Uh, roll to hit the rocks and roll for damage. <laughs> roll to hit the rocks and roll to hit the rocks! Oh god, alright, here we go. Um, this is for to hit. Oh god. Um, 15. Okay, you hit the rocks. Rocks aren't moving, I think I got it. Yes. Cool. Alright, um, I have to remember math. I think it's 4 plus attack modifier. Right? I think that's what it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the first one is 8 damage. Okay. I'm gonna punch again. Okay. Um. Gosh. Yeah. Math. Oh, it's another. It's another fifteen. Okay. Yes. Fifteen okay, hits. One, one. And then seven. So eight plus seven, fifteen damage. Fifteen's a good number right now, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen damage on the rock. Bam! Bam! So you guys, you, you punch these rocks, they crumble beneath your hands. Um, there is, like, almost enough space for you to squeeze through. Luna, what are you uh, um, doing? How close are the slimes to each other? You don't know, because you're on the other side of the rubble. Well, then how, I want to go look. Okay. You go, you poke your head through the small hole. And they are in close proximity. They're within five feet of each other. Okay, I'm gonna cast Moonbeam on top of them. Okay. Nice. If you cast Moonbeam on top of them, um, Adlana is also there. I mean, she's already, t she's already out. Is that gonna affect her saving throws at all? Uh, I was like, yeah. Well, she. Yeah, if she yes. takes damage, she fails one. Yeah. Yes. Is she, like, in the middle of them, or...? Uh, so there are two, basically, because two of them basically tackled her. So they are on top of her. And there is another one that went for Ellie but missed. So there is one that's a little further away from Adlana. Okay, can I get one that's next to her and then that one? Yeah, I'll say that you can kind of put it between them and then get both of them. Okay. Alright. They'll take the average on their turn. Okay. Do you want to do anything else? Um, okay. Not going to do that. Yeah, there I am. Okay. Next up is, um, uh, Tarina. Um, she's 
probably going to try to get through the rubble to help out Ellie and Lana. Is that possible? Okay, um, we'll say you will have to make, um, I guess that this would be like a dex check. Because you're trying, trying to, to squeeze through the rocks. Yeah, because you're trying to squeeze through these rocks. Okay. Fifteen? Yeah, I'll say that you can squeeze through the rocks. It's a little tight, but you do manage to get through. Okay, so now you're at the top. Um, you still have a lot. Of, you still have twenty feet of movement. Blast them! <laughs> Help! Um, Help! Um, Trin is going to Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, the one that's not, um, the one that's not in the moonbeam. Okay. Roll to, to hit. Do it, Tarita. Uh, 15? That hits. Nine points of damage. Nice. Nice. Okay, this guy is he's not looking too good. He's kind of quivering. And uh, Trina is specifically going to be standing in front of Adlana so that she is not going to get hit. Okay. Next up is Alphonse. Oh man. Alphonse. 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 So. What are they going to do? Flail around and scream? <laughs> So he is going to actually dash up the rocks. Bring it on, tiny man, bring it on. And then he is going to like, um, he usually has on this like cloak that kind of like hides his figures. You don't know exactly how big he is, but he's pretty thin because he just, he is able to just crawl into like that space and then he pull, um, is able to pull back a, a, uh, a short bow and he is going to attack the, um, how does sneak attack work? I haven't done that. <laughs> so if someone is engaged uh -huh. with the, the enemy or if you have advantage on the attack. Okay, well, well, he's not he's not in a great place right now. Um, Who in this room is in a good place right now? <laughs> 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 the the he pulls the back an arrow and it flies wide, uh, and then he is able to squeeze through the rest of the way. And um, I don't think he can do any other. Oh, he is going to bonus action hide. Okay, the slimes have no idea where he is anymore. Ha ha. Oh my gosh. So he jumps in and then disappears. Yes. <laughs> Just stay down. Shot okay. an arrow through the hole, but whatever. Boo! Uh, back at the top is Adlana Make Wait, you, me. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. You're my favorite. Oh, you're my favorite too. Okay, so Tarina's right next to me, and same with Adlana, mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of slimes in front of us. Basically, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna turn to Tarina and be like, "Don't worry, I think I can. I think I can help your aunt." And I'm gonna reach into my bag, use an action to give her a good berry. Okay. She's up to one. Okay. And then I'm gonna put my hands on her shoulder, and my leaves are gonna start to like glow and radiate. And then it f quickly fades, and then Alvana starts to glow. Is I'm using my face step, but I'm teleporting her instead. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna teleport her um, on the other side of the rocks. Okay. And so she should be conscious now, but with one HP. Okay, she's out of there. Good job. And. I'm just gonna stand my ground with, um, with Tarina. Okay. 
Alright, uh, now back at the top is Adlana, who is conscious again. Adlana. I'm conscious. Oh, she's conscious Adlana. Yay! Yeah, I gave her one HP. Yep. Good berries. The berries are good. Good berries. Alright. So she's on the other side of the rock, so hopefully she's safe from the slimes. Cool. Hey, Tarina, what is Adlana doing? She has a short bow. Through the, like through the hole in the wall, or yeah, I'll say Alphonse managed to shoot through the little opening. Um, I mean, you were able to squeeze through it, and you were able to squeeze through it. But um, I'd say it's yeah. I'll just I'll um yeah. She can shoot through it. <laughs> going to use her short bow <clears throat> to shoot through the hole. Attack at the slimes. Okay. Is there a specific slime? Get the damaged one. The damaged one. Yeah, okay. okay. Go for it. <laughs> oh, um that hits. Does she get sneak attack? Cause are, are we engaged with the slimes? You're uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. You're in close enough proximity. Cool. Um. So. Yeah. Hi, this is Tiffany, your DM. Thank you for watching Dungeon Damsels. This is not the end of the session, so please stay tuned for the next part. We update on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in supporting us more, please push the subscribe button, like or comment. We also have a Patreon, wink wink nudge nudge, and our show is in podcast form. You can find us on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Podbean, Spotify, and plenty of other podcast platforms. Thanks, we hope to hear from you soon.